Hello and welcome to Arts Alive. I'm Claudia Herber and I'm here talking with Aaron Akers. Aaron is a, a painter, a very interesting painter, and we're so excited to have you here today, Aaron. Thank you. Glad so, to be here. Good, good. So I know a little bit about you. I know that uh, by day you're a plumber and uh, by night you are a fabulous oil painter and instructor. <laughs> Thank you. So let's talk about that. Great. Let's talk about this painting. Where okay. does this all come from? Well, um, during COVID, my daughter had a youth group uh, that she was a part of, and they did a tutorial online. And I walked by and I said, this looks interesting. And I recognized the guy from when I was a kid, and I used to watch him on OPB. and. Uh, they were painting. I thought, well, this looks easy enough. I should try it. About a month later, I tried it, and I haven't put it down, and I've been doing this about two and a half years. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is, that's just, that's just so much fun. So two and a half years to where you are today. And Correct. And we have one of your paintings behind us. It's not gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. So... When you teach at Currents Gallery, no one has to bring anything. You supply it all. Tell me about how that works. All right, so I'm a certified instructor uh, through Brandon Thomas Art Company. He's out of Kentucky. Okay. And he has his, a presence on YouTube, Instagram, all those platforms. Uh -huh. And I contacted him about becoming an instructor. And he said, I need at least two years of experience, and at the time I only had nine months. He said, go ahead and send me some of your work. I sent him a few of my photos, and he instantly said, you don't need two years. You just need to start teaching. Here's what we're going to do. So it, wow. I got certified through him. I'm able to teach all of his courses, uh, and half of them are, are Brandon Thomas art renditions, and half of them are just out of my head or a photograph that I've seen and I've just interpreted it my way and mm -hmm. I, I just t uh, all I'm there to do is teach a technique okay. not, not how to copy what I'm doing as far as every cloud every tree every bush just a, there's a certain technique to it and I just teach that technique it's that easy Wow so no one has to have any experience now if you can butter toast and, and knock <laughs> on a door and write an X, you can do this. Really? That's <laughs> yeah, simple. It's that easy. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Well, with that, you've got to truly inspire the people who sit down with you. I Hopefully I do. I have a few regulars that like to show up for class, uh -huh. and they've really taken off with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're amazed at what they can do. I'm amazed at what they can do. And they, they come away with a masterpiece, and they didn't know they had that hidden oh. talent. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And what I love about it is that I could come and take your class and I don't have to bring anything. I don't have to make a big investment in tools. Correct. Uh, I've made the investment. And wow. that's what I think of it as, is, uh -huh. is an investment. Yeah. Yes. And so all these tools are sitting on the table. Is this what would be in front of me? Basically, yes. Um, I would have this at my easel, but this is the, this amazing white is basically the lubrication that we put on the canvas before we paint. We apply that in a thick, or a th excuse me, a thin, even layer across the canvas, mm -hmm. and then we start in. Mm -hmm. On the palette, you'll you'd have this in front of you. You'd have the easel right here with the canvas uh -huh. that would be sitting in front of you, and then the paints all up there, all the brushes laid out, and then we go right into it. Start in. And is, so why is it called wet on wet? Because of this. Okay. You, because you, you of make that the white. canvas wet uh -huh. and then you layer upon layer upon layer of paint and it's all wet. You don't you don't put right. the paint down, let it dry for two weeks, come back to it, put some paint down, let it dry. 
I can, if I'm just whipping something out of my head, 35, 40 minutes, I've got a painting done. If I'm teaching a class, it's, you know, four hours, but, sure. Um, sure. you know, it, my first painting took me six hours to complete, so <laughs> it, it takes a minute. You, oh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. But it, the, the main thing is just practice, 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 and the more you do it, mm -hmm. the better you get, the mm -hmm. easier it is. Mm. Well, you're aware that we sort of call you our McMinnville Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just don't have the hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, much. I'm sure Bob Ross would be very envious of your hair. <laughs> right, and so, your next class at Currents is in July fifteenth. Ju July fifteenth, and um, and so they just come, they sign up through us, and they show up at your, at the studio, yep. and this is what they're going to see. That's what they're going to see. Our our canvas for that one is going to be a little bit wider than this one. Um, we're doing a longer, about a thirty inch by fifteen inch, uh, oh. and we're doing Mount Hood and a mirror reflection of Mount Hood oh, with the forest wonderful. and everything below mm -hmm. it. And it, mm -hmm. it, it's going to turn out really great. Yeah, it'll be, oh, that'll be fabulous. And I know that, um, tell me this, I, I, I meant to ask you this about a hundred times before, but when you, when you you're do something at the farmer's market, mm -hmm. does it, is it talking about your painting or is there something else that you're doing there? I talk about the painting, I talk about the process, how I got involved. Uh, when I'm at the market, I'll have the easel set up and have anybody who wants to try it, give it a try. Oh. I get students that way. Uh -huh. I get their e email information and then let them know about the classes. And I've got a few that have come through the studio mm -hmm. that way mm -hmm. to teach them. Some of them, they're good at it, but th they just don't want to invest the time and that's that's okay, but yeah, I, I show them, I let them try it. You know, I'll have people come through at the beginning of the day and then by the time they come back through in the evening when it's cooled down, I'm, my paintings are already done and it, they're blown away. They, they don't realize that it doesn't take months to do right. the painting. As I say, you know, I've, I've really only been painting at it about an hour today. The rest of my time's been chatting with people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I imagine that is so much fun just oh, to, yeah. and, and it's a surprise for people when they come up to you at the, at the farmer's market that they're going to actually talk to an artist, yeah. learn something, and maybe go away with some inspiration. Yeah. That's fabulous. <laughs> That's fabulous. Well, once again, we're looking forward to having you in our backdoor studio for a long time. We're hoping that that could be a second home for you. Absolutely. That you know, this is my side hustle, so I'm, I'm not I'm not laying it down anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Did we we did we mention that your other artistry is in plumbing? Plumbing. Yeah, I was going to say water, but itself. plumbing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, do you see yourself ultimately, uh, maybe at a point, uh, putting down the wrenches and tools and playing with the brushes? Yeah, but this has to take care of all the bills before that happens, or I just need to retire, and that's at least 10 to 12 years out. So we've got some time. We've got some time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love that about you. We love that. Okay, so when is your next class? Uh, July 15th, uh -huh. starting promptly at 10 a.m. It runs from 10 a.m. to 3, okay. and we have a, a break in the middle, and I do supply you know, light snacks and, and drinks. You are the only kind and generous teacher that I know that does that for his <laughs> students. <laughs> and I've been there. I've been there kind of looking around, <laughs> a little snack. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's great. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Aaron, you, Claudia. for chatting today. It was wonderful to speak with you, and I hope that everybody <clears throat> who is interested gets a chance to come by and see what you do. Fabulous. Yes, thank you. So thanks for coming to Arts Alive. I've been Claudia Herber and Aaron Akers. Thanks again. Thank you.